I am honored to be a part of this beautiful book, this homage to women everywhere who embody resilience, who embody fight, who embody love, who embody light, and find liberation regardless. This book opened my eyes to the many different struggles that women face everywhere, globally, domestically, the struggles that these women face just for being women, the struggles that these women face for being black, for being queer, for being poor, for being all of those things at once oftentimes. And I just hope this book is also an eye opener to everyone to realize that and to reject this system, this racist, patriarchal, homophobic system that we all live in. And on top of that, I hope this book is an eye opener for people to respect women, to recognize the struggles that we face every day and honor the ways that we persevere regardless. And to fellow women, fellow femmes, everyone who knows intimately what it means to be a woman in this world. I hope that this book is an eye-opener for you as well to treat the women, daughters and mothers and others around you with the reverence and sweetness they deserve. Part of resisting and fighting these systems means uplifting one another, means caring for one another and being there for each other to provide solace. And the other day I was reading an Alice Walker book and I'm gonna share a passage with you that really honestly reminded me of this book. It's from her essay, Songs, Flowers and Swords by Alice Walker. And she says, no, nothing is heavier than this determination to affirm a mother the world despises. But at the same time, nothing is more joyous and more light. To watch my mother smile as she reads in search of our mother's gardens is to know true happiness. To know that she realizes I recognize and deeply value her worth. What prize, what praise, what criticism can stand against this? This moment when mother and child look each other in the eyes and both can say, yes, beloved, I understand. That moment is the true beginning of adulthood for, of adulthood for women. The true moment of rest and relinquishing of us by our mothers. For we have at last arrived at the place where they always stood, vengeful, harassed, irritable, odd, and we did not know why. So Donna, thank you for capturing the rawness, for capturing the beauty and the diversity of womanhood. I love you always. Thank you.